Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for being here and uh, give me opportunity to share my thoughts with you on this occasion. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing that organizers uh, from Sikh community was able to pull uh, this event. It is very important that we remember all the people who have worked hard for our community advocated for our community and for the Sikh cause. And uh, Dr. Gurmeet Singh Olak is uh, one of the person who I admire and is also source of my inspiration as well when I do the similar stuff in state of Connecticut. Uh, I also want to thank our Congressman Dan Burton. You have been a wonderful friend to Sikh community and uh, we really all respect you for all the work you have done and all the opportunities that you have given the Sikh community to present their case and to show the world the narrative of the history which was uh, basically crushed down by Indian government. Uh, so we are very thankful and grateful you are here with us today and it's an honor. I wish I could uh, be with you in person, uh, but just to give you a little introduction, I'm serving in Board of Education of uh, City of Norwich in Connecticut, and I'm also running for City Council. So these were my campaign days, and I have to focus here. Otherwise, I would have definitely come and meet all of you guys in person. And I do intend to come and meet everyone in person after the elections. But uh, uh, I just wanna say one thing, the, these kind of uh, documentations, which are very well known in the world, because if anything is in congressional record, of course, it has to go through some kind of screening. So it's very reputable resource. And I think the work uh, uh, you guys have done uh, with uh, Dr. Olak, I think even our generation use that work when we talk to our congressmen. We still forward those uh, congressional remarks that are still available in our congressional record to make them understand and give them a comfort level that these things has been documented by our country in congressional record. And from time to time, it is very important that we do add more documentation and remarks and uh, uh, tell the ground reality of what's going on in India behind the curtains of democracy or so-called democracy. Uh, you know, again, we are very thankful for all these opportunities and uh, the message I have for our Sikh community members is that uh, we know it's uh, overwarming and sometimes it gets over exhausting because uh, right now, you know, being a minority and uh, being uh, less in numbers, it's very challenging to, you know, overcome the false narrative that Indian government is able to pull off even in these countries, free countries where we live in, but we should keep up with our advocacy we should keep up with our awareness and educational efforts. And uh, in Connecticut, we have done many wonderful things with the help of Sikh community. Uh, Governor of Connecticut has recognized month of June as a Sikh Memorial Month. Uh, April 14th, Vasaki has been recognized by our US Senator Chris Murphy as National Sikh Day. Recently, March 11th was even recognized by our state leaders and our federal leaders as a happy Sikh flag, Nishan Sahib Day. So all this work and advocacy when we do uh, build up good portfolio and it build up uh, more documentation for our community to encounter those uh, false narratives that are our propaganda that Indian media creates. Uh, so I am again very thankful that I got this opportunity to say a few words in front of you all and I look forward working with you all and again thank you very much congressman for all the work you have done. I wish we have more bold and uh, uh, leaders at federal level 
and the way you have shown your respect and understanding for our community. Uh, we look forward to work with other uh, federal leaders as well so we can give them and provide them with the comfort level and understanding so they feel okay to uh, express six sentiments in front of the world. Again, thank you very much. Wahe Guruji ka khalsa, Wahe Guruji ki fateh.